This is your boy Sam Flat Spirit Fishing. This video is in reference to a request I got about a week ago. I asked, I, uh, I got a private message asking me to please make a video on how to properly fillet sheep's head. Uh, I guess a lot of people don't like to take sheep's head because they don't know how to fillet them, being that they have hard bones and they're very difficult if you're not aware or if you're not used to filleting them. Um, I've spoken to some, even charter captains, and they're like, no, nah, we don't even target sheephead because we don't even want to bother with the filleting and it's just a mess and they, they don't like it. Well, hopefully you guys get some insight and a little better know-how on how to fillet sheephead. This video is short and to the point, but hopefully you guys get a little something out of it. All right, so you're going to want to start off with a very sharp knife. As you can see, it's hard to get in. Also, make sure you cut all the way to the top of their head because all that is meat that most people leave out of the fillets. Once you do that, carefully start filleting towards the spine. Once you fillet a few, you'll realize that there's a little slab of meat right there. There you go. It actually serves as a little tab. You can hold that and keep filleting the fish. You should be wearing gloves and not fillet towards yourself. However, I know better, but I'm used to filleting this way, so that's how I do it. But fillet your fish, make sure you get all your meat, take your time, little by little. Right here, I go above and around the rib cage. A lot of guys cut through the rib cage and they dull out their knives and that's why a lot of people don't like harvesting sheephead because they say that it is ridiculously hard to fillet but in reality it's not. If you see right here, you just fillet around the rib cage and work your way out until you have your fillet. Into your fish so it doesn't slip away from you. process again on the other side make sure you lift the fin there you go put all the way down and then do the same process this one's gonna be a little easier because it's away from you same thing go towards the rib cage or the spinal cord as you guys can tell I'm not rushing through it, I'm taking my time inch by inch. With bigger sheep's head you have to take your time and go easy on the fillet, if not you will fillet the fillet. There you go, hold your little tab of skin, work your way back up, separating it. And do the same process with the rib cage. Work slowly around the rib cage. Sometimes you get the little pin bones that get stuck and you have to pop those, but it's no big deal. There you go. Walk the knife all the way down, around the belly. Careful with your hands and complete the process. Here we go. You have just taken off your fillets from the fish. As you can tell, the rib cage is still on there. Your knife is still intact. Toss the fish and start skinning. All right, right here we're gonna, I always cut a little tab right there. Do it about an inch, inch and a half of meat. And then fillet out. I always cut that tab so you can have something to hold on to first and then as you can you guys see I start holding the, the skin right here get your pin bones 
notice I felt where the pin bones are at. Make sure you feel them properly right here. Take them out. You don't need those anyway, you're not gonna need bones. Right here, you don't have to, but I always take the bloodline out. I'm just very anal about that. It's very easy, you just cut the way out, flip your knife, and go back up. There you go. You have a clean sheep's head fillet. Let's repeat the process. Catch your tab. Always go all the way up on the fillet as well. Sometimes you get pin bones that are lost or you can't find them because you don't feel all the way up. You'll take your bloodline out and you are done. That's all it is guys. Nothing crazy. Nothing out of this world. Now you guys know how to properly fillet your sheep's head. And you're good to go. Enjoy.